we are going to see about interference in involute gears. In the previous video, we had seen about the form of a teeth. That is, one is involute and one more is called cycloidal. In cycloidal teeth, we could not have that interference drawback. But in involute profile, we having a drawback of interference. Okay. Let me see what is meant by interference. So, before that, I will explain how it is, how the drawing, some of the things has been shown. Let me discuss one by one. So, here I am shown the pinion as an gear, uh, pinion as an input and gear as an output. Right. So, in the if you take that pinion, so I am drawn an pink color circle here that is called as an pitch circle respect to pinion. Similarly, here also I am drawn an pitch, I mean pink color circle with respect to gear, it is also called as an pitch circle of gear. If the gear, I mean pinion pitch circle and gear pitch circle is going to have junction at one point, that point is called pitch point. This is a common point for the both gear and pinion. Okay. And I am drawn an base circle for an pinion, it is drawn in this color. Similarly, for an gear, I am drawn in base circle. So, with the help of a base circle, I am going to draw a tangent line which is connecting the base circle of gear and as well as pinion and there is one condition, it must pass to that pitch point. The line E and F, so it gives that tangent line which is connected the two base circle of gear and pinion. Okay. This line, it is called it as an line of action or it is called as an pressure line. So, why it is called means, so when the two gear are in mess, the path of an contact is in this line only. So, in this way, they call it as an line of action or that while during and missing, the, the force has been acting on another teeth. So, it is passed on through this line only. So, in this way also, they are called as an what? Pressure line. So, now we are going to see what is the point C and D. So, during and beginning of an engagement, it is denoted by the point C. At the end of an engagement, it is denoted by the point D. Alright. So, now let me discuss what is mean by interference. So, let us example take with respect to pinion that A point is a center point of a pinion with respect to A the tip of an I am going to draw one circle with respect to tip of an circle that circle is called as an addendum circle. Okay. Let us assume that I am going to increase the addendum circle. So, what will happen here? So, actually at the D point is the time of an engagement. But it is not in case time of it is not be end of an engagement here. Suppose I am going to increase that addendum circle means it is trace the path P F here. So the maximum limit of an addendum circle is F. If beyond the F point means so what will happen here? So it will intersect in the base circle. So normally the involute profile is be like this. So, here we have an inverted profile like this and here we are having an inverted profile here and in between this we are having a radial line like this, we are having a straight edge here. So, when it go beyond that base circle, the straight edge it will be hit this base circle. So, this effect is called it as an what? Interference. In other way, how we say that interference is the inverted profile. So, which we have an inverted profile the two profiles has been in contact means it be tangentially connecting. So, when the interference is acting at the time of that there is no non involute profile. In the other sense we can call it as an non conjugate. So, while this happening in that missing of gear it leads to interference. Here I am point out the point E and F. These two points it is referred as an interference point and if you go beyond this point is it will leads to that interference. This is also called as an limiting point. Yeah.